Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Shark Robot vacuum cleaners. On the left, I got the Shark Matrix. This is the 45 day version, model number AV2310A. The one on the right is the Shark AI Ultra. It's the 60 day version. Okay, so let's talk about some of the differences. So the AI Ultra has lights up here to let you know when it's charging, when the vacuum cleaner is working. The Matrix has just one light here that shows different colors for different things. Here's the actual robots. They both use LiDAR navigation that will map your house. There's something spinning down there and they have the bumper on the front if it runs into something. Now, in order for these to avoid an obstacle, it has to be taller than four and a half inches which so that that LiDAR spinning can bounce off of it and it'll avoid it. If it's down low, both of these will run the obstacle over unless it can activate the bumper. So after they're done vacuuming, both of them are going to back up to the base unit and they're going to suck everything out of the dust bin into this chamber here. Now let's take a look at the chambers. I like that this has a window on it. We press the button here, take this over to the trash can, press that button and everything's going to come out. Again, this has 60 day capacity. This one has 45 day, it says. There's a button on the back, press it, take it over to the trash can, press the button and everything's going to come out. Now they do look to be about the same size. All right, let's take a look at this one. There's some screens down there. You do have to clean the inside of these once in a while. And here's what that one looks like. Now the Shark AI Ultra has a HEPA filter here that you have to change once in a while. The 45 day, the Matrix has a foam filter. It is reusable and you can clean it, but it's not as good as a HEPA. Now up top, they both have this reusable filter that will have to be cleaned once in a while. It gets extremely dirty. You gotta take it to your sink, rinse it out, but let it dry overnight. Now here, see, they both have the exact same filter. And there's another one down below that. Okay, let's talk about the robot's dustbin. There is a little bit of a difference here. So the AI Ultra over here, it's dustbin. You're gonna open it up. There's where everything goes when it's vacuuming your house. It's going to come back. Everything gets sucked out that port, but the filter is a little bit different. You got this screen, but it has a filter you can take out. So once in a while, you are going to have to replace this filter. Sometimes I blow it off to get a little bit more life out of it, but then I will eventually have to replace it. Over here, here's where everything goes. The filter is built into the door. Now you can clean that a little bit, but once in a while, you are going to, the door comes off really easy, but you are going to have to replace that door that has the filter in it. So again, here on the bottom, here's where they're going to charge. The brush rollers, let's take a look. Very easy. Both of these are very easy to work on. Looks like they're a little bit different. This has a, like a blue gray end. There's like a comb down there. This one also has like a comb to help get the hairs off of the roller. So even though they are different, it does look like the brush rollers are interchangeable. Now I did open them up on the inside. This has a 2000 milliamp hour battery. This has a 2550 milliamp hour battery. AI Ultra has two brush rollers that turn are powered and turned. This one has one that's a little bit bigger. This one does, the Matrix does get into a corner a little bit better with its brush. Whereas there's the maximum reach on that one. Drive wheels look to be about the same. It's doing a Matrix clean inside this room right now. We're going to see how it does. When it's all done going back and forth, it's going to go back and forth the other way, make really nice lines, and then it's going to come back to the docking station which is right here, and it's gonna auto empty. After it autos empty everything, it's gonna put it into this bin. After 45 days, we can take this to the trash can, press this little button right here, and everything's gonna come out. Now, once in a while, there is a filter up here. There's a reusable foam filter. You do have to clean this once in a while, make sure it's nice and dry. And there's a foam filter over here you've gotta clean once in a while. Yeah, so we can see it's doing a really good job of vacuuming this room, this carpet. It does really good on hardwood floors and linoleum also. It transitions between the two really good. Now it does a good job of obstacle avoidance if the obstacle is taller than four or five inches. If it's lower than four or five inches, like a cable on the floor, uh, it will kind of run it over but it does have that LiDAR navigation on top that does a really good job of mapping your house. So it's gonna create maps. You're gonna go in there and label the rooms that it creates and add no-go zones. So if you've got like a computer that has a bunch of cables on the floor, 
you're going to put a no-go zone there so it stays away from that area. And here it is doing the matrix clean where it already went this way. Now it's going to go back and cover the entire room by going the other way. Okay, so I press this, the clean button to pause it. Let's see how well it's been cleaning. So there was a, I put a lot of dirt and debris on this. Let's open this up. Wow. It's actually doing a really, really good job of picking all that hair up and all the particles. So here's what the app looks like. It says it's matrix clean in progress. I've got it cleaning just one room. You can do whole room or whole house cleaning or just do individual rooms. I could tell it to go back to the dock or pause. Now again, there I've got a no-go zone around there. There's like a computer with a bunch of cables. So it'll stay away from that area and it will not get trapped. The little home icon, that's where the docking is, the docking station is on the map. Okay, so here I have an obstacle that is a little bit taller and it is going to avoid it because it's taller and that LiDAR navigation can sense it. That's that ring. That ring right there can sense that because it's more than four and a half inches tall. Okay, so it's all done with this room and now it's heading back to the docking station to where it's going to empty everything out. And it also charges the robot vacuum cleaner. There's the auto empty. Everything is being sucked up into this right here, which is bagless. Okay, it's all done. It's gonna charge the robot and it's ready to go for next time. You can put this on a schedule so that it starts cleaning the same time every day or say you want it on Tuesdays every Friday or whatever, but the schedule is really nice to put this on. Otherwise, you can just come up here, you can just hit the clean button and it'll start cleaning your entire house. Or, and if you're, say it's in the middle of cleaning and you want it to go home, tell it to dock and it'll go back and dock itself. So let's take a look. Yeah, here's all the debris that it got. Wow, that's pretty remarkable. Okay, so price-wise, they're kind of all over the place sometimes. The white one's the one to get. It normally is on sale for $329. Absolutely love it. They both clean exactly the same. The Shark Matrix, in my opinion, just has some cheaper features like that. Filter in the door, the foam filter, a little bit smaller battery. It normally retails for $450. It is on sale for $369. So it is more expensive than this one. I like having the, the window so that I can see when this is dirty. Now, I don't know exactly why they're saying a 45 day and a 60 day when they're, they look identical on the inside, but maybe I'm missing something. I bought both of these with my own money. I will put links to them underneath the show description notes. Now they sell a 30 day one, which I'm gonna do a comparison with. It's basically this with a smaller bin, but it's not, it's typically not any cheaper. So this, the Shark Vacuum Cleaner's pricing is all over the place. Their part numbers are different versions. They're basically all the same vacuum cleaners. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. I try to demystify shark vacuum cleaners and which one is, you know, which ones are the same, which one to get. I have a buying guide, show you exactly which ones to get. I also do other robot vacuum cleaners, so be sure and check out all those videos. Yeah, if you want to see more videos on robot vacuum cleaners, subscribe to my channel, go to my channel homepage, and right below the first line of videos will be robot vacuum cleaners. I even have my pick of the year. So I buy these vacuum cleaners with my own money, and I tell you, would I spend $329 on the white one? Yes. Would I spend $369 on the Matrix? No. It would have to be cheaper than the white one. It would have to be under $300 before I would buy it. Because that filter that's on the door is not readily available. The other filter is, I find it all over the place on Amazon and different places. 
And, and don't get caught up in the matrix. Both of them do matrix cleaning. Both of them make the nice lines. Both of them map your house the same. The app is the same. And in my opinion, the app is kind of basic and generic, but it, maybe that's what is nice about it is it's not super fancy with lots of different options. Like some of the Roborox and them, they have a lot of different options. Their, their apps are pretty extensive. So be sure and check them out over on Instagram. Just to add videos over on Instagram. I really hope this video helps. If there's something you want to see these compared with, let me know in the show description notes. So be sure and check out all my videos on Shark Robot Vacuum Cleaners. I show you how to do all the maintenance, set them up for the first time, which one to buy. Follow me on Instagram. That's my Facebook group page, Instagram, and my, my logo there. Also got lots of videos. I got the Narwhal here, the Dream, the uh, Roborock Q Revo. They got a brand new Q Revo coming out, and I will be getting it and comparing. S8, eh. The Dream L20, it's big, but it works good. But the dust bag kind of leaks a little bit. There's the Dream X30. That's a $1,700 robot. I'm doing some testing on it right now. But wow, is that thing expensive. Here's the J5 Plus. I do Tenneco reviews. Here's some Shark. The Dream. I love the Kenmore. That's a $1,200 Dyson robot vacuum cleaner. And it's getting better. When it first came out, it was uh, But they've been doing updates to it. And it's starting to do better coverage. But still $1,200. And I do Roborock. Here's the Roborock. Uh, I think it's the Q5. That's a very good one. Keurig just released a brand new Keurig K-Mini Go. I'll be reviewing it. There's a $500. I, I got a... Keurig just released this brand new... I'm not even sure. I forgot what the model number is, but it's $500. I'm like, well, that's awfully expensive. Beautiful's got a brand new um, espresso maker at Walmart only. Just finished up reviewing. That's the Walmart Shark Stain Striker. Hoover's got a brand new one out. And here's the, the most, the latest one. Here's Shark's got a brand new stain striker out. They took the hose off of it. I absolutely love this one now. There's the Dyson Ball Animal. Um, love that vacuum. There's the Shark stain striker. Now the absolute latest product is the Bissell Crossway. This is brand new, Omniforce. This is gonna be a game changer. I got lots of videos, comparisons coming out. I love it. Bissell has really done a remarkable job on this. So look for those coming. So again, I hope these videos help. That's why I do what I do is to help you uh, try to decide. And when, if you do buy these, I help you with the maintenance, how to set them up and how to use them. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could like and subscribe and thanks for watching.